Some of the stories that we have of Anne Bonny are that she is this wild wheeling woman of the high seas, that she is a breast bearing pirate before she shoots men in the face, that she had these scandalous lesbian affairs. A lot of what we know about Anne Bonny comes from one seminal text and it's called A General History of Pirates written by somebody with the pseudonym Captain Charles Johnson. At the time there was this incredible thirst for scandal and exotic things and I cannot think of anything that could be more exotic at the time than a lesbian pirate in the Caribbean. Everybody was just about as drunk as a punk, yes, because they had this rum punch party. But they were fiercely resisted by two buccaneers or two pirates, eh? And at the end, they would realize that these two persons were women. Anne Bonny, Mary Reed. And some of them specifically mention the two women pirates on board and the fact that they were as active and as, as kind of ruthless as any of the men in the crew. In fact, probably more so. Calico Jack, who is Anne Bonny's rumored lover, was also in jail at the same time. And he was about to be hanged and he had sent for her before his death. And so she came to him and she was just a savage through the end. She said to him, that she was sorry to see him there, but had he fought like a man, he wouldn't be hanged like a dog. Nobody really knows what happened to Anne Bonny. Some people think she died in jail in Jamaica, but also some people think she lived to 84 and died in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> 